Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildred, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. Today is day 15 of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. This time the word is door. And I suppose this is a good idea as any to talk about how unreasonable item destruction mechanics have been in my time playing D&D. Specifically, here's a simple concept. Kicking the door in and then run and then running and shooting at everything that moves. Simple, easy, and we've seen it in a dozen action movies. For some reason, it never seems to want to work the way it's pla the way it's planned in D and D or in D twenty modern, and some other games as well. Mostly due to the fact that hardness rules are really, really stupid. To the point where you have to have this set of eight, this set amount of HP, and because of that, in a lot of cases, I would just go with, "Fuck it, we're doing dramatic convenience," and only really use the the item hardness rules when it came to you know barricading if you're playing a zombie game. Because multiple times we'd have cases where somebody would swing at the damn door and somehow miss or not hit enough. It happened repeatedly, and when you have people who can call upon the whims of gods, swing a sword so hard that they kill three per people with one swing, and some and summon seventeen different kinds of lightning, yet somehow fucking doors managed to stop them. Look, just because that kind of thing worked in Space Hulk doesn't mean it's going to work here. This is the reason why I, um, a while back on one of the episodes of the Monastery Live, there was an argument made that Rule Zero is somehow elitist, when it really isn't. All that it really says is, if the rules are getting in the way of fun, throw the rules that are getting in the way. Obviously, you shouldn't throw all the rules, otherwise you're not playing a game, or you're playing D&D &D 5th Edition. But... The thing is, you need... With something like the door instance, if they've got something cool in mind, uh, or even just something really bad like doing the FBI open up meme, I think that's something that should be allowable. Plus, leading... When, some, when, when you have a target as stationary as a door, and you know what you're going to be swing, swinging against... It never made sense to me that you could somehow miss. And I know somebody's going to argue some sort of specifics on the matter, but I was not GMing this particular instance. This is one of those things that I know that I'm not immune to because I've seen it happen dozens upon dozens of times over the years. Somehow, some way, the quickest way to the quickest way to put an obstacle in front of the party is a door. And sometimes this is even dumber when you're dealing with, say, wooden doors. Which even then still cause trouble. If you're dealing with stone or metal doors, yeah, I could understand that. But a wooden door? When there's already at least one game called Door Kickers? Yeah, I don't buy it. The only time the whole, the whole door thing ended up working is Space Hulk. But that's a board game, so it doesn't count for the purposes of this. Bottom line, fucking doors.